Psalm 83 and verse 1 says, O God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O God. As believers, we have received answers to our prayers as well as God's silence. There are times when we earnestly seek God, but in return, only sense His silence. When this happens, silence can be difficult, frustrating, and tempt us to doubt. Because we know if He is silent, we are hopeless. If He holds His peace, we will have no peace. If He is still, then we will have no help. Which is why this morning we are going to pray with our hearts and the cry of Psalm 83. So I urge you to close your eyes, open your mouths and cry out to God with me as we pray. God, we pray this morning that you would direct our minds and our hearts, that you would form our thinking and our desire in our acting, in our speaking. God, we depend on your word in a world where if you are silent, we have no hope. We depend on you for all these things. We depend on your word for wisdom, for guidance. We depend on your peace in a world where there's so much temptation to anxiety and worry, particularly in times like this. We cry out to you. We need your word. We don't want to be silent. We need to hear your word and we need your peace. We need you to move. God, please do not keep silent. We pray that your peace will overwhelm the heart of every single person listening to this prayer right now. A peace that Philippians chapter 4 says passes all understanding and guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Oh God, I pray that and amidst all the unknowns around us, you will not be still. You will intervene and provide and that your mercy would be all over us this morning. When the enemies of our souls make an uproar, speak peace to the storm and help us to know that we are safe. When those enemies lay crafty plans against us, turn their plans into your plans and cause us to triumph in your name. When those enemies say, come let us wipe them out as a people, cause us to call to you in worship and let you fight the battle. We remember that you are greater than the enemies of our souls. You are the lover of our souls and we will rest in you. You have brought us through great trials in past days, Lord, and you will continue to shepherd us through times of trouble. You are our creator. You formed us and made us who we are. You have given us new hearts to trust and love you. We praise you. Let those who fight against you come to their sense and fill your presence. Fill their hearts with love for you. Let all of the earth rejoice in the resurrection of your Son and experience your love for them today. You are worthy to be adored. You have given your all for us. We worship you. We give ourselves afresh to you today. Dear beloved, be rest assured that God is attentive to our prayers at this very moment and each heartfelt plea is being recorded. Stay steadfast and maintain your focus on heaven. In this spirit, kindly share your name and a potent declaration in the comments below. God is with me. And watch as the stagnancy in your life transforms into a flowing river. All powerful Father, we need your presence right now. Please step in with your divine power, sword, and assist us now. Please show your glory and intercede for us. Bring your saving grace and save us without hesitation. Jesus, our Savior, we pray that you will intervene in the midst of all our troubles. It is very difficult right now and we need your help. 
We need your comfort and guidance every night. Your solutions will bring peace and joy to our lives. We're full of anxiety and dismay and want to be free from it. Get rid of all fearful thoughts and stress and make us surrender my problems to you. Jesus, we need answers and can't find them by ourselves. We need your strong, mighty hands to free us from our chains and bring your peace in our hearts and minds. God of divine intervention, please intervene now in our lives. Don't allow us to be unfortunate victims of violence and terror in this world. We pray, Lord, in heaven for divine guidance and your intervention in our lives. Now, let us join our hearts in fervent prayer for our friends and family. If you know someone who is earnestly seeking divine intervention, Take a moment to write their names in the comment section below. In unity, our collective prayers become a powerful force for change. Lord, as we pray this morning, we intercede for those facing conflicts and challenges. Just as the psalmist sought your intervention, bring peace and resolution to every situation that seems insurmountable. Almighty God will lift up nations and communities invoking divine intervention as we unite in prayer may your wisdom guide leaders and may justice and righteousness prevail in every corner of the world in the spirit of psalm 83 we intercede for those who feel oppressed and marginalized lord intervene on their behalf breaking the chains of injustice and granting them the freedom they seek Father, as we utter these intercessory prayers, we ask for your divine intervention in matters of health. Bring healing to those suffering, restoration to the sick, and comfort to those in pain. Lord of hosts, just as the psalm sought your intervention against enemies, we ask for protection and deliverance from any adversary that may stand against us. Shield us with your divine presence. In the name of Jesus, we intercede for families and relationships that are strained. May your divine intervention mend broken bonds and restore love and unity among family members and friends. God of mercy, we invoke a divine intervention for those struggling with financial burdens. Open doors of provision, bring opportunities for prosperity and release a divine turnaround in their circumstances. May these prayers usher in divine intervention in every aspect of family and friends, bringing about the transformative power of God. As we step into a moment of powerful declarations, let us remember that our words carry significant weight. Place one hand on your chest as a symbol of conviction and say after me, I declare that God's grace is a beacon guiding me through every challenge. I declare breakthroughs and blessings in areas where I have faced obstacles. I declare peace that surpasses understanding to reign in my heart. I declare divine wisdom to navigate every decision and circumstance. I declare healing over my body, mind and spirit. In the name of Jesus, I declare that God's favor surrounds me as a shield, opening doors of opportunity. I declare the strength to overcome any adversity that comes my way. I declare abundant joy and gratitude to fill my daily experiences. I declare restoration in relationships that may be strained or broken. I declare financial blessings and prosperity to flow into my life. I declare breakthroughs are coming in my life, sudden bursts of God's goodness, not a trickle, not a stream, but a flood of God's power, a flood of healing, a flood of wisdom, a flood of favor. I am a breakthrough person and I choose to live breakthrough minded. I am experiencing God to overwhelm me with His goodness and amaze me with His favor. 
I declare I will speak only positive words of faith and victory over myself, my family, and my future. I will not use my words to describe my situation. I will use my words to change my situation. I will call in favor, good break, healing, and restoration. I will not talk to God about how big my problems are. I will talk to my problems about how big my God is. This is my declaration. As we conclude this time of declarations, let the power of these spoken words reverberate in the lives of every viewer. May your transformative grace touch each heart, bringing forth the promises you've declared. We thank you for the faith to speak life into our circumstances. Amen. If you felt the resonance of these prayers, show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Your engagement helps spread positivity to others in need. Until next time, God bless you.